Hello everyone, how are you doing? Cross Knight here. In this video is going to be a full review about the tier set that we have in Season 3. Now I'm going to say this guys, this tier set doesn't seem very good. Now I did some tests on raid and dungeons. And I'm going to be fully honest about how it feels in dungeons and how it feels in raid. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the advantages of the tier set, why it's good, before I say why it's bad. Now, first of all, the short cooldown in dungeons is very good because we're going to have our cooldowns almost on every pack uh, for the cooldown reduction with empowering weapon. And also the cooldown reduction of shell streak make it very good that on, almost on every pack you're going to have shell streak ready and it's going to do so much damage on every pack. The second advantage is that this tier set works with the Breath of Sandrigosa because it reduces the cooldown of empowering weapon which make a Breath of Sandrigosa very good and make it last longer. Now I did some tests in Raid and some of like uh, most of the time I have Empowered Weapon around 1 minute cooldown if I get lucky. But they recently they nerfed the chance by 30%. So it's going to be like around 80 seconds instead of 2 minutes uh, if you if you get lucky with the proc chance. So this is uh, so the tier set is going to work better with the Breath of Sandrigosa than Obliteration in season 3. And the third advantage of the tier set that our single target damage is very high now, more than season two, because the uh, shell streak damage is very good on single target. I was doing around 15% damage only by shell streak itself, and this is without the 20% extra damage we get from uh, shell streak. So our single target is going to get buffed a lot in season three, more than season two. So this is a very good thing, especially in raid since. Always Unholy DK was best on single target than Frost, but now we can't compete with Unholy Death Knight with this new tier set on single target. So these were the advantages for now. Now let's talk about the disadvantages. Now, first of all, the spell itself is bugged. Now, making a full tier set about a bugged ability is a bad idea because sometimes it doesn't work. Especially if you hit Shell Streak on, like for example, you're fighting a pack in dungeon, and Shell Streak accidentally jump on dead target, like mid air, and the target died. Uh, it's gonna bug out, and it's gonna stop bouncing. So this is a bug with Shell Streak. Now the second bug, which make the tier set is completely useless in raid. I mean, yesterday we did it. Uh, we did the raid boss on BTR. And the boss was very big in size, and he was very far from your uh, from your character. There's like a big fire around the boss, so you can't move it close to the boss. And whenever you're gonna use shell streak on the boss, it's gonna jump really far away, so it doesn't have range enough range to bounce back on your character. Uh, this is a big disadvantage because it's gonna make the tier set completely useless in uh, raid fights, like on big bosses. And I'm very sure we're going to have like different uh, big bosses in the raid. Like this is one of them. And probably the last boss is going to be big in size as well, like Razageth. So this makes the tier set completely useless on single target. Like on uh, some bosses, like not all the bosses, just the big size bosses or the bosses that are very far away from your character. Because you need to stay close to the boss so it can bounce back on your character. You have a 12 yard uh, range to bounce back. So if the boss is very big in size, it's going to jump way far, like on the, on the boss head almost. So the space between your character and the boss head is going to be like more than 12 yards. So it's, it doesn't, it's not going to have enough range to bounce back on your character. Now this is like the biggest disadvantage of the tier set, making it completely useless in raid. Now the tier set works good in dungeon. I'm going to say it's not bad in dungeons. And works good on single target. So if the boss is very small in size, it's going to be perfect. But, I mean, it's not a good idea to be, like, replaced on some big bosses just because our tier set doesn't work on that boss. And I'm very sure there are going to be, like, two or maybe three bosses in the raid that the tier set will not work very good on them. So they're going to have to set us, like, in, uh, in guild raid. They're going to have to set you down. For another player, it's because your tier set doesn't work, or maybe you need to swap to Unholy Death Knight on that boss. And I mean, you can't change your spec to another spec just because your tier set doesn't work. Like this is 
not how suppose the game should be, right? So yeah, this is uh, like one of the big disadvantages of this tier set of the season three. Now the second disadvantage is with the talent tree. Now unfortunately we don't have enough points to go with whatever we want because now we're going to replace the dragon in dungeons to go with shell streak. Now I'm going to say that dragon damage is not very good in dungeons. They're probably going to do if the if the dungeon doesn't have so many targets. The the dragon overall is going to be around four to five percent. Uh, but shell streak damage is like 10 to 12. Sometimes it gets 15 percent overall. So shell streak damage is good, but dragon like uh, dragon spell is very good. It feels very good in dungeons because you have AOE stun, AOE slow. So now we're gonna have to replace the dragon to go with shell streak, so we don't have to. Because if you want to replace something else, it's, it's gonna completely ruin your build. So the only spell you have to replace is a dragon. Now this is if you play with the Breath of Sanigosa. Now if you play with Obliteration in Dungeon, it's not gonna like replace too many things because we already have two extra points with Obliteration. We can remove Enduring Strength and the Glacial Advance to go with the uh, with Shell Street. Right? But if you want to play with the Breath of Sanigosa and Mythic Blast because our like a breath build in dungeons have like exactly to uh, points to go with, with the spells that we need in dungeon so we're gonna have to replace dragon so we can go with shell streak because we can't remove the second charge of empowering weapon because the tier set works better if you have two charges of empowering weapon and also we can't go without the rage of the frozen champion so the only spell that we can leave is the dragon so like in general the tree uh, the talent tree it doesn't fit with the tier set so they should give us like extra two points so we can have uh, so it's going to be like work better with the tier set so we can go with shell streak and we can pick a dragon now dragon feels much fun in dungeons than going with shell streak and sometimes it gets buggy on dead targets and it's going to happen a lot, especially on packs that have like so many low HP targets and like two high HP targets, you know, and the low HP target is going to die very fast. And if Shell Streak killed one of these targets, it's going to just stop bouncing. This, this is the disadvantage of the talent tree with the, with the tier set. So the four of you guys for the tier set that this tier can go with in season three because we can't have bugged ability to have a full tier set and we have to count every time on shell streak to deal damage or to get bonus damage and sometimes it gets bugged or sometimes the bosses get like jump far away from you and it's gonna just stop bouncing like even if this if the boss is very small in size some bosses like keep jumping around so if you accidentally press shell streak on them and he jump around to like safe area or you have to do like a sim like a mechanic or something and you need to move far away from the boss you're gonna lose so much damage so i think blizzard should replace this tier set to something else because this can't work if they, if they release this in season three we're gonna have uh, so many people get, getting replaced in raid in uh, guild fights uh, or maybe uh, make them swap to unholy death knight in raid for dungeons, it doesn't affect so much unless you get bugged, uh, as I said, on dead targets. But the overall, the, 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 the tier set itself doing so much damage, I'm going to say. It's not like doing bad damage. It's doing good damage. But I think the, the bug just make it not very good. Like if there's... Uh, maybe they should bounce, make the bouncing... Uh, range like 40 yard just as the spell itself now shell streak have a 40 yard range so if they make they make the bounce also 40 yard this is going to make it work but i don't think they're going to do that so yeah guys the full ranking of this tier set is i'm going to say three or maybe two out of ten it's very bad we can't we can't play with this next season and if i didn't say mention like uh, like bugs or anything please say in the comment if anybody did some testing on frost death knight like tell me how you feel playing with this tier set and yeah with the extra nerf they, they nerf the tier set even more it's gonna just make it even worse i mean the tier set wasn't even good 
for, for them to nerf it. It was already bad, and they just make it worse with the extra nerf they did. Please say in the comment if you have any questions, or if I didn't mention anything, I'm going to replay, reply to the comment section on YouTube as well. And I will see you at the next video, guys. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.